morning, everybody, um, and uh, welcome back for many of you to, to Q&L, where I see many familiar faces from last night when we had our public lecture to open the traditional golf architecture week. For those of you who weren't with us last night, a very warm welcome to the theatre at the Qatar National Library. Um, my name is Dr. Stuart Hamilton. I'm the Deputy Executive Director here, and I'm bringing you greetings on behalf of our Executive Director, Dr. Sahir Wastawi. Um, we're extremely proud to have this event here at QNL as part of our post-opening celebrations. You'll be aware that we opened the library on Monday the 16th officially, and since then we've been having a number of events to celebrate certain elements of the material and the interests of the Qatar National Library. Before I go any further, I do want to do the obligatory thank yous to everybody who's been involved in organizing the conference. Uh, to our facilities management staff who's prepared the building, to our communications and press staff, particularly the designers who've put together the exhibition panels and the marketing for the event, uh, to our heritage library staff for their expertise in helping us assemble materials, and then finally to the conference organizing committee, uh, led by Dr. James Onley, who is our director of historical research and partnerships. Uh, this organizing committee, which was a really cross-organizational effort, is responsible for the program and for the activities this week. Um, the traditional Golf Architecture Week is the first time we've hosted a conference here in QNL, uh, and we're very happy to have you with us. In the coming days, you'll be in the presence of experts in the field of golf architecture, all of whom are very generously sharing their time, expertise, and experience to dig deep into this topic. Uh, personally, I am no expert on architecture. My favorite architecture quote is actually attributed often to Frank Zappa, who said that writing about music is like dancing about architecture, which is a nice quote, but not particularly useful for this conference. However, I do know, because I've been able to work with Rem Koolhaas for a number of months as we began to prepare the building for opening, um, that buildings have a lot to say about a country or a region's economic and cultural development. And this is what we've gathered here to discuss at QNL. and I hope you're looking forward to a deep dive into some of the great projects that are going on in this area at the moment, some discussion about the preservation practices for some of these great buildings, and the influences the architecture here has across the region, and also not to mention some of the great site visits that you'll be going on later in the week. For now, though, I just want to wish you welcome to QNL. I hope that you have a great and enlightening time, and I'm going to hand you over to Dr. Onley, who will be telling you more about the program. Thank you very much, and welcome. Thank you very much, Stuart, for that fantastic uh, introduction. Uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the beginning of Traditional Golf Architecture Conference. Uh, we have for you uh, several days of fascinating examination and discussion of a little studied subject. And we are doing this to showcase uh, our important work in research in pr uh, preserving and promoting the heritage of this country and its region. So this project uh, is part of a larger initiative by the National Library to create a digital collection uh, that one day will be up on our Gutter Digital Library. Uh, uh, preserving the uh, history and uh, heritage of the built environment of Gutter and the Gulf. That is, the, the buildings you see before you, but also the associated activity, cultural activity, economic activity around the buildings. And through architecture, we hope to tell uh, a fascinating story about Gutter and its region. It's cultural history, economic history, social history, uh, and so on. That will bring in a constellation of researchers and scholars from around the world uh, to shed new light on uh, the heritage of this country and its region. So uh, this being our first conference is the first of many such endeavors. And so I'm very glad that you can join us here for this historic moment. Our first panel today, I'm going to segue into our first panel, uh, will uh, uh, tell you more about this project, this initiative to create this important digital collection. Uh, the collection is rather different uh, from uh, what the uh, library has been uh, engaging in up until now. Up until now, we have been reaching out to state archives, 
and negotiating agreements with them whereby we can uh, obtain digital copies of their historical records on Qatar and the Gulf uh, that document uh, the past of this country and its region. Uh, most famous of all, of course, is the British Library Project. Uh, but in time, we'll be adding uh, records from other archives, um, India, uh, Turkey, uh, uh, the Netherlands, uh, and so on. And uh, in time, the Gutter Digital Library will become the largest uh, online digital repository on Middle Eastern history. So we're very excited about that. And we will, in time, add to this uh, a collection on architecture. But unlike the uh, archival projects, these uh, collections are held in private hands by retired or, or former architects, archaeologists, architectural historians, anthropologists, and so on. So it is uh, a difficult task to, first of all, identify who has these uh, collections and then to uh, go to them and digitize them. So it's a, it's a rather different approach, but I think the end results will be sensational. I think that this will end up being one of our most popular collections uh, in future on the Gutter Digital Library. And to tell you more about that uh, initiative, uh, we have uh, the uh, uh, professor of architecture uh, from Liverpool University School of Architecture, um, uh, my friend and colleague here, Professor Shoman Vandapadhai. So we'll be talking to you about the traditional golf architecture project. So without further ado. Thank you.